today we're going to be going on an art tour. Chico is full of amazing pieces of art and I'm excited to get started with it and today I'm here again with my friend Paul. Thank you Ryan. Yes, Chico is full of amazing art. We're going to find as much of it as we can. These are treasures that all of us can enjoy. And who's here with us today, Paul? I have Susie with me. Hi, Susie. Hello. And I have Ivo with me. Hi, Ivo. What's up? And we're ready to get started, so here we go. You guys want to give me a hand? I'll give you two. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had big hands. Big Actually, right. We're here in front of the municipal building here in Chico. We have this bronze statue of General Bon Po, who was a hero of the Hmong people. Uh, the Hmong in this area collected uh, donations for the creation of this piece of art for quite some time. Finally had it cast in bronze, and here it sits. And it's the only statue of its time in Chico. Nice. There's something fishy going on here in Chico. For the, uh, Melody Records and Intel Imports, they do things like jewelry, music, gifts, and everything like that. And it's important to remember that that's art too, because art is subjective. It's not just pretty things that we find along the way. It's things like jewelry. It's things like music. Everything Car is that's just decked out in this type of like painting looking not just painting but it's like weird oh, material it's got like stuff all over it and then he has these little figurines on top it's a very neat car yeah, I think it's a station Actually, I think the, I think it's a station wagon college let's live <laughs> well it is college town yeah I like that one a lot. I wonder if he, 3D. I wonder if he did this awesome. all mural. Years ago, we at Chico had a filming of Robin Hood, and that is what this mural is. It is Robin Hood with a bow and arrow in what appears to be Bidwell Park, where the movie was filmed. In remembrance of Chinese workers' contributions to Chico's early history, the murders of Xu Yin, Ali, Agao, and Akuin at the Lem Ranch in 1877 inspires us to honor their lives, labor, and suffering. The loving memory of Andreas Presser, and so on. It is a big old dragon. Do you think that might be Upper Bidwell? Mm, I don't think so. No. We don't have those kind of trees. Fair enough. I like the California poppies throughout here. And I love the native wildlife as well. Susan. What do you see here? I really, I really like this one because of how the moon is portrayed. And I love the silhouette of the mountains in the background. It reminds me a lot of Chico because no matter where you are, you can just see the mountains all around you. You know what my favorite part of it is? Somebody put art on top of art. <laughs> Shouldn't do that. It's called graffiti. Neon signs are incredibly hard to make, take a lot of process to do it, and are incredibly fragile. Art of neon signs. Neon sign art. Yes, it is truly an incredible art, and how much work goes into it is amazing. Should we do that There's one? There's another one. Kind of in the style of Japanese manga, which is uh, Japanese comics, and they kind of went for a pastel theme here. I feel one of my favorite 
art pieces in Juno. As you can see here, we have stained glass, which is very much a lost art form, you know. Not a lot of people do it anymore because it just takes so much time, effort, as well as precision. And here display, you can see people brewing in the uh, restaurant, Burgers and Brew. We'll be and the restaurants. So it's bending the glass tubes and like actually shaping it into the, into the way that it's shaped there. Properly making sure the right colors are, are feeding through. So it's a long process just to do one neon sign. If you thought blowing glass was hard, neon signs are even harder. We're here at the Phoenix building. And this is a representation of the Phoenix. The Phoenix building caught on fire back in the 1970s and was restored and like the Phoenix of legend, it, it came back from the ashes. I love the Celtic knot. Celtic knot, yeah, there's just so many beautiful things here. The butterfly. It's really cool. It's so beautiful. Uh, there's a circle. circle. Yeah, there's a circle. Dragonfly. Oh, we should definitely do that though. While we're doing this one, just be like, remember the last one we were at doing? Here's a circle! We are inside of Bat Comics, and there's nothing but art in here because comics are art. You may have seen Spider Man while watching the Spider Man movies that have come out recently from Marvel, and that's what a lot of these comics are. They're their stories and how they got started. Rest in peace, Stan Lee. Eight ninety nine. What a deal! Oh, $899. <laughs> These are incredibly hard to put together. My friend collects them, and they are all broken down into little tiny pieces. Doesn't really show. There we go. That's probably the best you're gonna see. Like there, you are all that size, and you have to put the entire thing together. It's definitely a form of art for sure. All these books you're seeing were created by people. Every bit of art. Here's a Star Wars one. I know a certain someone was interested in Star Wars. No, it's a, yeah, it's for purpose, not, not for purpose. Hotel Diamond. Hotel Diamond. Hotel Diamond. Hotel Diamond. Hotel Diamond. Hotel Diamond. Shining example of the art of architectural restoration. Circle. <laughs> so there's a group of people in Chico that paint rocks and they hide them all over Chico. They can be at the park, downtown, at a store, in front of the hospital, you never know. And it's just something they do to brighten people's days. Yeah. A lot of them have, uh, so you are sure it's Chico rocks, Chico rocks on the back uh, uh, with like a laminated label and it says, uh, these were known as the language houses. The different departments of uh, foreign language at Chico State had the French house, the Italian house, and um, hmm, I think it was the Spanish house. And this was known as the Anthro house. It was the um, for the anthropology department. Are any of these in the style of uh, North Romanesque? No, <laughs> no, no. None of these are. Uh, this one would be known as a um, craftsman house. 
and the others, uh, let's see. Ah, that's another craftsman there. This would be called a bungaloid. And this one, ah, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, my my I architectural like, history fails me in that respect. I like the I'm not sure house. How many <laughs> of the I'm not sure houses are there? <laughs> these, these, um, this was the whole road. These were all in a line along, um, hmm, I think it was Normal, Normal Street. I feel I'm like some sure. of them are still there. I think some, I, I think, think so. the Anthro house is still there. Yeah, I feel like I recognize the heat. Hey, there's art on art. as well but I, I my favorite for sure is the hands right across from us right now oh yeah we'll see you guys next time bye